What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. Thanks to those of you watching on YouTube and IGTV, and thanks to those of you listening on the Amazon devices that I can't say the name of, otherwise they'll stop while I'm talking, and uh, those of you listening on the podcast. So today we're going to be talking about Shopify abandoned carts. This is the lowest hanging fruit. If you're a Shopify store owner, Shopify merchant, listen up. You need to go into your backend admin panel, click on customers, and then click on abandoned carts, and you'll see a list. I don't care if this list has five names on it. I don't care if it has one name on it. I don't care if it has a hundred or a thousand names on it. This is your lowest hanging fruits for getting conversions right now for your website. You need to download this list or just copy and paste it one by one and send an email to everyone on this list. Now look, I know what you're thinking. If this list has more than 100 names on it, I don't expect you to send one-on-one emails to every one of them. But if it has less than 100 names on it, take the time as a business owner to personally reach out to these people that almost bought from you. They put an item in their cart and for whatever reason they just haven't checked out yet. What you can do is you can grab a URL that links directly to your cart, send them a one-on-one email, ask them what you can do for them. What can you do from a client experience standpoint to help them make a purchase with you? Send them a link to that cart and then watch what happens. Your personal touch will do it. Shopify owners, abandon cart one-on-one emails. And if you got more than 100 people on that list, you're lucky. You need to download it, put it into a MailChimp account, and religiously check up on that list and send that list incentives to get back into their cart and make purchases from you and your store. This has been your data-driven daily tip. I'm Paul Hickey. Have a great day.